something in the mail today that's pretty cool. This is what everyone knows, WPL Legendary C24. I've done a few things to it. Um, one of the best upgrades you could possibly get for this is this 370 motor with the metal uh, gear gearbox. This ESC is actually from a WL Toys 12428. The servo went out and I didn't feel like buying their servo, their uh, propri proprietary servo that they have that's five pin, whatever. And at the time I didn't feel like it. So I just put the uh, brushed Red Cat ESC and motor in my 12428. And I ended up just buying the uh, servo for this and it went right in. I had to, well, I wouldn't exactly say it went right in. I had to do some cutting. What came in today, titanium drive shafts. I got them from Banggood. They took a long time to get here in the States. This one is as smooth as silk. This is the rear. They look fantastic, by the way. And they have some decent weight to them. They're gonna make this truck ride very good. Uh, they looks like they have brass gears, which is fine because I also ordered the metal gears. And I didn't know that it came with two, so I got two. And my daughter's crawler, the same setup. I'll do a video on hers. So very smooth. Now the number one problem I was finding with these was the steering. It had a dog bone system. And as this would turn, it would bind. Well, as you see, it doesn't do that now. Look. What they did was they got rid of the dog bone. Now it's just a CV axle in there. Now this is full clocked. It probably won't even get this far and you see it's working. So these are going to be amazing. I was really worried about that. As a matter of fact, I actually ordered some of the, uh, some CV joint axles instead of the dog bones. Look, perfect. It has, wait, now I felt just a, I oh know that's, the new axle, they gotta, this is what's binding just a tad. It's gotta work itself. For those of you that don't know, with brass gears, you run them for a while. You can put your, put your throttle trim up and just let it run, run a full pack. And then um, take this open, clean the shavings, and then put your, your grease. And then the, that should be good. They have some good weight. They're gonna help stabilize it when it's crawling. Now I don't crawl this thing outside. This is for indoor play only. I mainly got it for like winter days. and I feel the need to bash and I can't get out. Some of the screws are loose, but obviously I'm gonna take it apart and go through it. So I will come back when it's installed. When I get the body off, I will just show you roughly how I put the ESC in. I didn't buy the little dinky one. And for my daughters, obviously I didn't have another spare. I bought a uh, hobby wing and I bought her the same motor because seeing how good this was. Now this motor does make it a lot slower. Just crawl over the couch and whatever, whatever else goofy stuff I can climb over her toys. I, I left the switch in the same spot. I'll explain all that when I get it off. So here's what it looks like. Now, a lot of you may think this is just a hack job, and it might be. There's a million videos on how to put these servos on. It honestly just goes right in, just by a micro servo. I actually cut the power wires for this ESC because I wanted to use the original and have it in its original position, so I just cut them, soldered them, heat shrink, some tape. Motor, same thing. Soldered some wires, the original uh, wires that came on WL Toys. 
It uses the same controller. And uh, this is for a 540 motor, so it powers this, obviously powers this 370, no problem at all. I did have to hack at the body. You can't really see it from the outside, but um, you see, I had to hack some of the inside. You can see down in here, you see the body inside. I mean, for those of you who don't want to do that, then I don't recommend. There's a lot of other options. I just had this for free, so I used it. All these wires and stuff are under the hood. You don't see them anyway. I took off that plate that goes here. Honestly, this is only held on by two screws that go here, screwed here, which gave the front a lift because normally the, the body of the truck went under this, which helps, and what that one screw here, these little tabs that go here no longer fit. But I wanted the truck to have a lift anyway. And that was just a free lift, I guess. I'm gonna put like a spacer or something for this one and um, get a longer screw to lift the rear end a little. And that's all, it's just a, like a body lift. That way I didn't mess with the uh, geometry of the steering. So anyway, I'm gonna get these axles on and I'll be back. All finished and wow does it look amazing okay let me show you some of the things I had to do here so this went right in I already had uh, metal drive shafts now the screws there goes my mirror again the screws for the top here, they're supposed to be machined, but they screwed right in. I had a little bit of binding because mine's, I have it lifted, and the uh, drive shaft was angled too much. So a way to do that is to put a washer on these back screws here. And another really good mod to do is take a spring from a pin and put them on this bottom piece of your shock. And that helps a lot. The front was a little bit different. Okay, my servo that comes down. This is the servo arm. The original servo arm ends about here. So I just cut. This is see. This is a, another piece. I cut another piece I had that came with the, the kit, and put two screws. One from the back, one from the front, just to bring it down some, because this can only bend so much. Okay, I still, I took the screw out for it, and I put a long cotter pin. I know this is, this this looks ridiculous, but this is a very strong cotter pin. Uh, through it, I put a little spacer type deal here. And it was just high enough to where it won't bind now. And everything is fine and dandy. Let me turn it on. Show you guys. That's a little bit difficult. It's gripping on this rubber. The tires are. See? No problems.
no problems. Here's it upside down. Now you see if I had this in the, in the original spot, way up here, there was no way in hell this was going to reach. And the binding issue I mentioned earlier, let's see if it happens. Nope. So there you have it, my ghetto fied WPL C24. I love this little thing. I highly recommend these axles. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Thanks for watching. Maybe give the channel a subscribe. Alright, see ya.